The employee one-on-one -on -one is maybe one of the most misunderstood practices for managers. Everyone thinks about them differently, but a common way that I see they're used is as a check-in for all the to-dos that the employee has this week. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, but when a one-on-one -on -one becomes purely transactional, they tend to get less and less prioritized. Managers and employees wind up only talking when there's something on fire or the employee feels really stuck. But in my experience, great one-on-one -on -one meetings are less about getting things done and more about maintaining communication, building trust, and leveling up that other person. It's a coaching and servant leadership mentality that makes all the difference. So here's a couple of ways that I like to use one-on-ones with employees. Number one, create a space for them to bring not just problems, but thoughts and worries and ideas. Remember, this employee has a purview you don't have. We should be leveraging that for the good of the business. Great questions sound like, what red or yellow flags are you seeing right now? What aren't we talking about enough? In the next six months, what's important for us to accomplish and why? Number two, make the one-on-one -on -one about them. Remember, as their boss, you are the number one way they're going to grow as an employee and as a professional. Questions in one-on-ones should sound like, what did you work on last week that you loved? What did you hate? Walk me through something that happened last week that you want to learn more about. And number three, keep it high level. Lots of one-on-ones get mired down in small details or solving very specific problems for very specific projects. Those conversations are usually better left for their own separate meetings. I like to use my standing one-on-ones to focus on the biggest goals or driving our OKRs forward. Questions here can sound like, last week we agreed you'd do X, Y, Z. How's that coming? What's standing in the way of you achieving your quarterly OKR right now? Are we still clear about the list of deliverables and their deadlines for you? A helpful tip here is always follow up a one-on-one -on -one with a written email summary. What was discussed? What decisions did we make? What asks were put in place and their due dates? That way we can always refer back to it and give accountability to our progress.